Today we're going to show you how to change the water valve on your dishwasher. This is a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is an adjustable wrench, a pair of slip joint pliers, and a quarter inch nut driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step to this repair will be to turn off the water supply to the dishwasher because we are going to be disconnecting the inlet supply line to the valve. And there are also some electrical connections that uh, you may come in contact with, so I would suggest that you turn the power off as well. Next, we'll remove the kick plate. It should be held in place with quarter inch hex head screws. is located over on the left hand side here. Our inlet supply on this one is a 5 16 or 3 8 copper line. So we'll need to disconnect that first. You may want to have a, an old towel or something handy here to catch some of the water that may leak out. Now with the supply line disconnected, next thing we need to do is remove the, uh, in this case a street elbow on this particular valve, but it depends on the type of supply that you have. We'll need to remove that adapter to install it on the new valve. Next, we'll remove any of the plumber's tape, or if it had uh, um, plumber's cement on it, we'll need to remove all of that, and clean up that fitting, or replace it. You'll notice a little quarter inch hex head screw just to the left of the valve holds it to the frame, so we'll remove that screw. We can slide the whole valve to the left, push it back, and then we can pull it out through the front. You'll see there is a clamp that holds the outlet tube on it, so we'll need to remove that with a pair of pliers. And again, you may get some water leak out of that tube. We have two wire connectors that need to be removed. Now, keeping in mind how the valve was installed in there. Next, we'll reconnect the wire harness. Make sure they fit good and tight. Then the outlet water tube. Make sure it fits on all the way. And reinstall the clamp. Now we're ready to slide the valve back into place. Two locking tabs will line up with two slots in the base frame. And then we'll reinstall the quarter inch hex head screw. We need to make sure that we put the fitting in so that it's orientated in the same direction. So we'll use a little plumber's dope on this. We need to make sure that this fitting is 
nice and tight. Next, we'll reinstall the water supply. Now we want to make sure that that connection is tight as well. And before we put our tow panel on, we'll turn on the water supply to check for any leaks. Once you verify that there are no leaks, you can reinstall the tow panel. Now we can reconnect the power and our repair is complete.